Hey guys, today I'm gonna be trying a lazy pink girl technique. So I've been seeing this for a few years floating around and it's basically just pink curling but faster. At least that's how I look at it. Not sure if it has an official name, so I just call it a lazy pink curl. Let me show you the technique first before I try it on myself. You'll grab a section and then you'll place two fingers under your section near the root. And then while holding the other section, you just wrap wrap, wrap around your fingers till you get to the end and then I, like I do with my pinkles, I will pinch it in between those two fingers, slide it off and pin in place. The differences between this technique and um, the normal pink curl technique that I use is as you wrap the hair you hold on to your uh, piece which m it means it twists slightly around your fingers while you're wrapping and this will obviously affect the curls I'm just not sure how much and uh, people don't tend to use at least people I've seen doing this don't tend to section off real neat sections like I do when I'm pink curling when I'm pink curling I find that it helps a lot in my set if I have really straight lines of pink curls this time however we're not doing that we're just growing pieces that feel about the same size and working my way top down so these are a few differences I can't wait to see how this turns out and yeah, also I'll time myself um, when I do this so I can <laughs> tell you how long it takes me to do. Obviously this is my first time using this technique, so it might take me a bit longer than someone who's really practiced at it. Finally, my hair at the moment is waist length, has basically no layers, which should make it really easy to do this technique. And I'm gonna be using uh, my own homemade setting lotion. I just broke my spray bottle though, so I'm just gonna be using my hands and a bowl, which should be fine. And yeah, my hair is just freshly washed. It's almost completely dry, only my roots still feel damp. So let me put on my podcast and then without any further ado, I will get started. Okay, I'm done. To be fair, I got to the web because my mom called and uh, I um, I also had to redo a bunch of them because finding a balance between having bigger chunks of hair but still being able to pin them with one pin was a bit hard to find. It still took me a half hour to do this, which on all is not too bad. And I think I can speed it up if I do it more often. But the real test comes tomorrow. So I'm gonna put on put on my suit line cap very carefully. So I can sleep in this and just chill with this without worrying about it going anywhere. Okay, it is on. Now that I have big brains, I'm ready to just chill for tonight and then sleep. Now, the one worry I have is because I use bigger chunks of hair, is that it's not gonna dry. And anyone who's ever done an overnight hairstyle knows that if it's not dry, you basically done it all for nothing. I'm, I'm gonna be pretty careful tomorrow with checking if like the bigger pieces are dry before I take it out and I think I'm just gonna give it a bit of extra time in general. I might even put uh, some heat on it if it's really necessary just like through the cap but I would prefer not to. So yeah, good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning! So I think I'm ready to take these off. So my hair should really be dry by now. It's been under here for I think about 16 hours. So if it's not dry by now then this experiment is a fail. <laughs> it looks a bit of a mess as you can see but you know 
It doesn't have to mean anything. So let me just quickly take these out. Okay. So they are all out and I'll start by brushing through with my fingers. I refused transfer it just didn't. I can see the bits didn't really come well. Um I might have just used too big of a piece. The general look is actually pretty pin curly. I could leave it like this, but I'm gonna brush it through for science, and because that's what I would do with regular pink curls. Now this is obviously a less tight set because of the bigger sections, but it does give a crazy amount of volume to be honest. But you can definitely, you can definitely see. Like, I like this side. This is all fluffy and poofy and poodly like. And it's fine. Like, as long as the undersize is curled up, it's kind of fine. And then here I've got this one piece that just didn't really curl. Or, like, barely. And it just kind of hangs underneath. So, note to myself don't make the pieces crazy large like you did. First of all, because it took 69 hours to dry. Second of all, because if it's too large, the curl would just be too big. But yeah, let me grab my tangle teaser and actually brush through this. And there we go, the brush out actually didn't ruin it, which, yay, <laughs> a few things. So I did take a few sections that were just too big, even though I was trying to take bigger sections. You could see like these back pieces, they kind of blend in now that I've brushed them out, but they were less curled than the front pieces. I actually really like how the front piece looks, and I'm really surprised by how much ridging I got. Like waveforming. So, notes to myself for next time. Take a bit smaller sections, but further, I quite like it. Some of the pros I noticed is obviously because you're taking bigger sections, um, the takeout is quicker, but also the brush out is easier because there's less, I guess, tangles to go through. When I do a regular pink curl, um, I spend a lot more time on the brush out, so the brush out of this lazy pink curl is definitely quicker than the normal pink curl. The effect also is a bit more voluminous, probably because of the bigger pink curls. I haven't teased my hair at all at the moment, and I do have quite a bit of hair, so it does kind of tend to stick up if I curl it. Uh, but you can see I've got like this mane effect. And that's a bit more pronounced than it would be if I did my regular pink curls. Once again, probably because of the bigger curl size. But yeah, I'm actually quite impressed. It does give a bit of a different look. It's a bit bigger, a bit more dramatic, but I really like it. So yeah, I'm really curious. Have you ever tried this? If you do, or if you tried after this, I'd love to see your results. I think it's a really good alternative if you're struggling with regular pink curls. But yeah. I like the results. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!